Here we have a Feedmaster milling plant, two bulk grain silos feeding into a grain cleaner, pre-cleaner, into an attrition disc mill, Feedmaster attrition disc mill, up through into a finished product silo that has a uh, high level control so it won't overfill and then it goes through into a feed wagon fill auger. Feed wagon fill auger has a automated control that also comes with a radio remote control to sit in the tractor cab so there's no need to get out of the cab to fill and control the feed going in. Okay let's go down and have a look at the mill plant itself. This plant has a 600 ADM mill. It comes with a, a force feed auger to fill uh, the push the grain into the mill itself with a in feed hopper and a high level flow control and then that's feeding from the grain pre-cleaner which is optional in the plants but we recommend that you, you put one in it saves the the life of the mills, whether it's a roller mill or a disc mill, increases the life of rolls and all the um, consumable parts. So we've got two in feed, bulk grain in feed augers on this system. They both, these ones are both have VSD, variable speed control, so that the feed can be shandied in and, uh, and then head off through the mill and up into the finished product silo. Uh, as a as a blend, so let's uh, let's show you how easy it is to start up with the Feedmaster Advanced Three Plant Controller. Uh, we've got all our isolators already on, everything on that we want. We've got our VSDs set for our blend, and to uh, to start, we simply push the start button. Let's give it a go. Just push the start button. The mill starts up, the discharge, the mill discharge order starts up with a small pause and then the infeed order begins. The flow is controlled by the sensor in the top of the infeed hopper. So we don't have to govern with it, we don't have to govern with the grain flow by the slides on the, uh, the silos, we can just have those going fully open and we allow the system to run. Now this system will either be run set to a time, a preset time, or in the top of the finished product silo we have a high level switch that will switch, it, switch the system off when the silo is full and that does a systematic shutdown so everything is cleared ready for the next start. Now I'm going to stop this system now just to demonstrate the uh, secret shutdown and to do that each system comes with a system shutdown button or so push that and now the system will have already turned off the in-feed order Clearing out the roll mill, and now it's clearing out the discharge order, and after preset time, 